couple hundred pounds, plus or minus. So it's pretty heavy. It's got a little bit of water, I'm sure, in there. So man, look at that. Whoever installed this just really took some shortcuts. Yep. All right. Time to get busy. We're having a meeting right now to decide what we're going to do with this. Our new washer and driver, it dryer, not driver, dryer, is pulling up in the driveway right now. I'm so excited to be able to wash clothes. Brian's drilling a hole or something in the wall. He knows what he's doing. I don't, but and in the meantime, I was starting my cucumber soup, but that'll have to wait now because I. I don't think they're going to need my help, but I'm going to need to be out of the way. The kitchen has suddenly become um, a little bit more like an obstacle course. We just got our new washer and dryer. Yay! I'm so excited. Now I won't have to worry about putting my clothes in the dryer and them getting shredded. Somebody's ready for breakfast. I walked out of the door and he's just staring at me. Are you hungry? Want your breakfast? How'd you sleep? Don't leave me. Boogers in your nose. Hmm. Oh, look, he matches too. Such good babies. Good morning, everybody. I'm super excited because today Mazzy's new supplement is supposed to arrive, and she got bit yesterday by, I guess, a bug. I guess bugs are what's doing it. I, I don't know what else would do it, but she got bit by a bug on the right, um, basically where her hamstrings are. And she, I guess started itching it and it was like really irritated and kind of swollen and like she had little welts all over the area and I felt so bad for her, but that supplement is supposed to be here today. And so hopefully we can get that taken care of. So she's not so irritated. Her eyes have been better though. I've been leaving the mask off of her more often and she's not as swollen. Hi huh, Maggie. Huh. I'm not too swollen. <laughs> I didn't want you to smile. I just wanted to come here. Mazzy. Mazzy. Hey. Yeah. That's all I wanted to do. Just. I 
I was basically just gonna show after a fly spray real quick Mazzy's little welts and stuff like you can see here she has been scratching I don't know if it's on a tree or what but she's been just absolutely itching that's part of Mazzy the whole sweet itch thing um, you can even see the lines on her side there she's just incredibly itchy my poor girl figured we'd do like a little before and after with the spirulina there's some more of the lines where she can see she's been itchy and then while we're here and her butt is potentially in good light the welts that she's had are right here i can oh i can feel them poor girl you can kind of see them there right there and then she gets them too like right here she's got them from scratching my poor girl what do you think you want the itchiness to stop too huh move over just a little and she's been scratching her face some not as bad as she used to though she used to scratch her face so bad her eyes would swell up but that was also in conjunction with gnats and things so i'll get you sorted out sweet pea i figured i'd kind of show everyone how she is with all of her itchiness especially maybe like a before and after of the spirulina I've also been using this stuff on it and it definitely it doesn't get rid of it 100% but it helps it to where she's not quite so itchy I'll turn it on here just spray it on still get in her tail spray it here, anyway, she's been itchy, and I rub it in. Just rub it in. And I'm very gentle right here because that's a tender area on her where those welts are. over in a little bit and brush her so I'm trying to figure out essentially if it's a bug that's causing her the itchiness if it's something in the pasture that like if she's eating something she's allergic to which the only thing I can think of is we have some nettle out there but they usually I've never seen them eat it doesn't mean they haven't but I've never seen it I've got a giant bottle of this stuff that's supposed to be coming today. She also has this little area right here that I'm assuming that's bug bites of some sort or scratch marks. I also needed to wash the horse's fly masks because they're nasty um, from all of the sweat and everything. So what I did is I just put them in a bucket with water and a little bit of I use this ivory dish soap because it's actually really mild and it won't strip hair of like all of the grease and everything I use that sometimes for horse shampoo even and I'm just putting the fly masks and soaking them in and you can already see how nasty the water is so those are gonna sit in there for a bit and then I'll come back and I'll mix them around with my hands some more that is one part of my chores this morning <laughs> 